It's finally here. We have larger print than cut without having to use a bunch of hacks. Good day, good people, and thank you for joining me for another video here on the SDG Toots YouTube channel. I am Phaedra Dion, owner and lead educator here at SDG Toots. As you can see, I'm already in Cricut Design Space. I am going to go to images and I already have scene loaded up. I am going to grab the abstract boho neutral scene and add it to my canvas. I'm also going to turn it on its side so I will hover over any one of the corners until I see the broken arrow and then I'll start turning and hold down shift. Now I'm going to flatten it and it's going to automatically turn it into a print and cut and I'm going to just start dragging it out and making it larger and I'm going to get my little circle with the exclamation point inside and when I click on it, it tells me image is too large for eight and a half by 11 paper. We have detected that the max size for this shape is 9.26 by 6.16. So if I auto resize it, then it'll make it smaller to fit on eight and a half by 11 paper, but that's not what I want. So I am going to pull it out again. I'm going to go back to my circle with the exclamation point in it. And this time I'm going to change the paper size. And I'm going to come here to the print and cut size. And for me, the default is letter. I'm going to, click the down arrow and I'm going to choose A3. So if I click on A3, I will get paper size 11.7 by 16.5, which is great for me because I have a printer that will print 13 inches by 19 inches all the way out to the border. So it'll print borderless 13 by 19. So I can print this 11 by 16 without a problem. So I'll click done and I'm going to go back to my circle with the exclamation point and it's going to tell me that it needs to auto resize the image. Now watch it, watch the image. See how it actually got bigger and not smaller. Now, if I go to bank it, I'll need a 12 by 24 mat, but I can print this out on my large form printer and you see my registration marks in the corner. They don't go all the way around anymore. My Cricut will read the registration marks to see how tall and how wide this is and it will print it bigger than the traditional size which was 6.75 9.25 so you need the beta version to be able to do this beta 7.27.142 if you don't have the beta you're going to go to the hamburger menu here you're going to go to settings and right here where it says application experience you're going to change it from live to beta and click done. Now you may have to close Cricut and open it back up or it may close automatically and open back up because it needs to load the latest beta version of the application for you to use it. But yeah, that is the new jam, y'all. We can now do larger print and cut. If you have questions, leave me a comment. If you have comments, leave me a comment. If you need help, leave me a comment. And as always, thank you so much for watching.